Here it is. The revelation of satanic strategy. I said that Satan had fought Israel. God's witness, the Lord Jesus predicted he was going to fight the church. How? Well, notice. Back in the wilderness in those 40 days that Satan came to keep Christ from the cross. Because if he kept from the cross, then the new covenant would never be accomplished. So, we see that his Satan's strategy today is to keep you from entering into meaningful union with Christ in death. And if he can do that, if he can get you to fight that truth, then he can get you to gossip, to lie, to lust, to hate. He can make you the instrument of every evil if he keeps you from the cross. Or if he can succeed there, he can succeed in anything. But when you recognize that the grounds of the church is not a historical fact alone, but a fact that has been made experientially real in your heart and life, that when Christ died, you die. And if he can keep the cross from working in your life, then for all practical purposes, he has destroyed the effectiveness of the work of Christ on the cross, as far as the church is concerned. And our Lord, once and for all, made it clear that the resistance to the truth of the cross is a satanic strategy to impoverish and weaken the church. And so he said, get thee behind me, Satan. And just as Satan used Peter to try and keep Christ from accomplishing the new covenant, my dear, since that time, Satan has tried to keep the cross for Christ in history so as to weaken and destroy the church. And to you, the subtle thing will come and it will be, it's not necessary for you to die to yourself. It's not necessary for you to come to the cross. It's not necessary to come to the end of yourself. Why, believe is enough, that's all, just believe. But the church isn't made up there. Church is made up on the grounds of the cross. Men and women come to the place they not only see that Christ died for them, but they take their place crucified with Christ. The church only has its existence where the cross is wrought, not only for the sinner, but in the sinner.